amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. So I adopted a cat, as you guys can see by the title. Come here, baby. Bomi. Come here. You want to say hi? <laughs> you want to say hi? Say hi, Bomi. Hi, baby. <laughs> so yes, I adopted a little, a little baby. And her name is Bomi. I've had Bomi for a few days now. She's about a month old. She's a baby. Uh, but she's so good. She's been such a good girl. I got so, so much stuff for her. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I ordered so much stuff off of Amazon. Um, this is only half of it. Today's Sunday. I got these last night. I have more stuff coming today. I have more stuff coming Monday and more stuff coming Tuesday. So this is like a quarter of the stuff that I got. First package. Oh, there's like multiple packages in this one package. I got two collars. It's black and it has some moons and stars around it. And then I got the same one, except this one's pink. Same pattern, same design. These are uh, cat dishes for her food. I got two. I should run them in the dishwasher first. Look at this, a pink one and a white one. It's for food and water, but I also got a water... You guys will see. You guys will see. And then I got a carrier for her. I got another carrier, but it's coming tonight or tomorrow, I think. Very stylish carrier. And then we have a big box for her if she wants to play in this. Oh, okay. This is the cat tree. I should put it together before she gets here. Okay. Okay, it's going to look like this at the end. I was going to get this really, really big cat tower, but... She's tiny, so maybe I'll get that when she gets bigger. I also got her some dry food as well as wet food. Maybe I'll try to like mix the two. This is the blue buffalo food. We'll see what she likes um, because when I asked the adoption agency like, oh, does she have a favorite food that you guys give her? They're a nonprofit organization, so they rely like really heavily on donations, but no more queen. You don't have to rely on anything. I will spoil out of you. So I got this roller that's like specifically for lint and pet hair and all that good stuff. <gasps> this is the water feeder. This is the water feeder I was talking about. So what this does is it constantly like filters the water because I know that cats really like fresh water. Like they can tell when water has kind of been like sitting out. I think this is for her litter box. It's like a mat to collect the litter. Like when she walks out of the litter box, it'll like collect it off of her paws. You guys won't see, but I've had to repeat the stuff I'm saying multiple times because I keep holding up the box that shows my address. I got toothpaste and it comes with a little toothbrush, but I got a different toothbrush. So I got this Petrodex toothpaste. And this little toothbrush, look how cute this is. It's so small. Oh, these are uh, like replacements for the water fountain filter. This is just uh, like a cat brush or a dog brush. And then one last package for this haul. Okay, this is the wet food I got. It's this blue wilderness natural food for kittens. There are boxes all over the apartment because of all the things I've bought her and then I don't want to get rid of the boxes because she loves the boxes, don't you baby? Bo me. She also goes by Bo, she goes by Nini, she goes by Boo Boo, Bubsy, Bub, Booby, Baby Girl, Princess. Where are you going, Boo Boo? <laughs> My beloved. She goes by a lot of names, but her her name is Bo me. She's a very curious and energetic cat who was left at a construction site. She is so, so good though. I was very fortunate that the shelter that I adopted her from treated her very well. She had no fleas. Um, she got the vaccinations that she can have at her weight and her age. Um, she has not been spayed yet because she's not of weight. She's only about, she's less than two pounds. She's a good, good girl. She's always purring. <laughs> you see her paws? <laughs> She doesn't purr in the car, but she's really good in the car. She cried a little bit, but not too bad. Not too bad, right? She likes playing with my hair a lot, as you can see. <laughs> I just started brushing her teeth. Uh, it was her first time yesterday that I have brushed her teeth. I'm not sure if the shelter did, uh, but she was very good. She really likes the toothpaste that I got. But yeah, she's just a little... A little black cat. I've always wanted a black cat. I got a, quite a few questions. 
on my Instagram about uh, why I decided to get a cat. I've been wanting to get a cat for a really long time. Um, even when my dad was around, I really wanted to get a cat. My dad was very stingy when it comes to cats because I had a cat when I was growing up. Her name was Cheetah. She was a Bengal. I have no um, memories of her, unfortunately, like documented memories. I don't have any pictures of her because uh, she passed away when I was around 10, 11 years old. I was really young, but my dad loved that cat so so much and he only wanted to get a cat if she looked like cheetah and my cat was bought she was not adopted she was bought when i was younger bomi was adopted but cheetah was not she was bought and my dad just really wanted to buy another cat no matter how much i told him to adopt um, he wanted specifically a bangle so we never got one because i wanted to adopt a cat and i really wanted a black cat so we didn't see eye to eye all the time Bomi, what are you doing? So I've been wanting to get a cat for a long time. Um, I've been nervous about getting a cat because it is another living being um, and I can hardly take care of myself. So I've been really nervous about getting a cat, but I decided that like, oh, when I move, I think I'm gonna get a cat. When I move, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera. I'm just looking at her and make sure just watching her in fascination. So I decided to get one when I moved. However, I was on Pet Finder and Raven, which was her original name, Raven popped up and I asked them to re reserve her because I immediately fell in love when I saw her. And I was like, this is the one that I want. I really want her. Like I just felt this immediate emotional attachment to her. And I had asked them if they could reserve her. And they were like, yeah, we can reserve her for a few days. And I was like, do you think she'll be there in a in a little over a month by the time this video goes up i will be moving in about like a month and a week i was wondering if they could hold her for a month or so and they said um we can't make any promises and my heart dropped at the idea that she will get adopted and i won't have her i jumped the gun and i adopted her immediately like a little bit before the start of quarantine i had been looking into getting a cat i hadn't like talked about it really because it wasn't really set in stone but about a year ago is when i started to watch uh these two youtube channels or two youtube channels that i really liked watching to get a lot of information and to learn a lot of stuff i had like 50 tabs open of like materials and supplies and articles and books like i this entire like slew of tabs constantly open on my computer the adoption agency messaged me and they're like yeah you can pick her up in like two days i finally opened up those 50 tabs and i immediately like purchase 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 <laughs> i I had rewatched like a bunch of the videos I had opened the tabs and yeah then I made my one and a half hour drive to go pick her up been a few days but it's the best thing i've ever done she makes me so so happy when i was picking her up i was crying like bawling in the car because she's just so sweet um there have been a few complications we just found out this morning actually that she has a parasite right now because i noticed that her stool was really soft oh she's nibbling me she likes to uh, nibble my fingers a lot Give me little love bites. She has a parasite actually because her stool was really soft, I noticed. So I had taken her to the vet and which already, like I was taking her to the vet already just for a wellness check, but I also took her to the vet to make sure to get that checked out. And it turns out she has a parasite. So they gave me some medication that I have to give her over the next like two weeks or so. So I'll keep you guys updated on that in the future. When I first got her, she immediately ran under the couch. I should have put her in the bathroom initially because I'm sure that the space overwhelmed her a lot. Um, I didn't think she'd immediately go under the couch. I thought she would kind of like stay in the entrance area, which is also like the bathroom I had set up for her. But she went under the couch immediately. She was under there for a few hours.
your little Haku plush. That's your litter box, sweetie. <laughs> oh my god, you're so sweet. Look, boxes. Oh, she loves the box. Oh, she's digging it. This is Bo Me. Do you want my shoes? You like Haku? Do you like Haku? There we go. Look, it's off now. I was able to get the the water bowl working, so that's good. She's exploring. Yay! Bomi. Oh, Hi. A little squeak. I think she's gotten used to me. I think there's something wrong with her eye. She keeps squinting her eye, but they didn't say anything was wrong when I adopted her. I'm gonna get her checked out. I have to take her to the vet anyway to get a wellness check and everything. I wanna get her eye checked out. She's squinting a little bit. Oh my God, I love you. Oh, she's so sweet. I love her. I've heard that some kittens, it takes a few days for them to come out of their little hiding spot, but she came out within a few hours and she's made this apartment her own at this point. I got her a bunch of beds. Um, she hardly uses them. She loves her carrier. She's always going in her carrier. She loves her scratch post. For now, you guys can enjoy some of the vlog footage that I got uh, for Bomi's first few days home. Bomi, she went to the bathroom on the rug last night, right in there, and cleaned it to the best of my abilities. Come on. So I'm trying to get her to know that the litter box is this way, but she doesn't want to go over here. Do you know that the litter box is this way? The litter box is in this bathroom, okay? Oh, there you go. And her litter box is right there, okay? So I just want you to know, Bomi, this is where you do number two. This is where you do number two, not in the rug. <laughs> and then she really likes going under the couch. This is where she was when she first came. She loves going under the couch, don't you, boo? Say hello. Hi. Hello. What is that? What is that? <laughs> I'm eating my breakfast on the floor because if I don't sit at her level, she starts crying. What a princess. <laughs> Wanna sit here? What? What are you doing? You're not gonna let me eat, are you? That's you! <laughs> Wanna say hi? <laughs> Bless you! You gotta take her to the vet tomorrow. She likes to make biscuits on my boobs and stomach, don't you? Hello! Oh. Bless you! Oh, baby, you're purring so much though. I'm gonna test if she likes um, K pop. What should we listen to first, Boo? Should we listen to Serendipity? I can't tell if she likes it. <laughs> Do you like it? I'm sorry, Jimin. What about this one? Well, she's drinking her water to it. Okay, I think she likes this song. She's a stay. Well, she was a stray. She was a stray kid, but now she's a stay. And I found her a home. Oh. You like this one? Do you like Harry Styles, Bomi? Oh, you like my hair? You don't like my hair? I want her to get used to her carrier, too. <laughs> you have a scratch post right here.
she came back from the vet and she did super well. They said she did really, really well. I uh, emptied out a probiotic, a capsule in her food. That's what that white stuff is. And this is some special food for her tummy because her stool was kind of soft. So they gave her some special food, so hopefully that helps her out. Good girl, good girl. She seems to really, really like it. Bomi says to never skip your meals. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> breakfast take your vitamins be like Bomi you are just so full of energy boo boo come on what are you oh gosh what is this this is what it's like to be a mom I swear I'm getting tired so early because she takes up so much energy from me <laughs> oh, she makes me so happy though I'm gonna cry I love her she really likes this one. I don't know if she thinks it's a bird or what, but she loves this one. And she really likes her Haku plushie. She loves this thing. So much. Oh me. Why are you nibbling me? Oh the camera's on, you're not gonna nibble me? There you go. I don't know if you guys can tell. She's like kinda like biting on my fingers a bit. Not hard to break skin. Like she's literally just like touching my finger with her mouth basically. Mm, you're biting me. <gasps> Look at the beans. The beans, baby, the beans. What do you want? Why are you nibbling me? Hmm? Oh. Why are you biting your feet? She's just, oh, she's so small. But yeah, you guys are going to be seeing Bomi a lot more in the videos now. So if you guys want to see anything in particular, let me know. Um, I think in a few months, I'm probably gonna do something like what I wish I knew before I adopted a cat, maybe like one of those kind of videos. And like I've said, I've done a lot of research, uh, but if you guys have any suggestions, uh, recommendations, like litter recommendations, litter box recommendations, food recommendations, um, anything like that, any tips, uh, feel free to comment them below and they are more than appreciated. But yeah, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys fall in love with her the same way that I did. And I hope you guys look forward to seeing her in the videos much more often. And before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. See you, bye bye. Bye bye.